Good evening, Mom. It is April 5th. Oh. Mm. So, this arrived today. This, <clears throat> and I, it's, where do I begin? Gosh. This is the future. Uh, so, about a year ago, on my birthday, or rather leading up to it, there was this uh, Kickstarter program that I really wanted to get involved in, but didn't know if I should. And then I got an email from them on my birthday saying, today is the last day to support us. And I'm like, well, they made that a sign. That ain't a sign. I don't know what it's. Now, what are they? Vi or V? I don't, I don't know how they pronounce it. Is an AI program built into a pair of headphones. Earphones. But it's not just earphones. It's not, it's not earphones. It's, I mean, you put them in and it's like Fitbit, but a million times better. The amount of de development that went into this thing is beautiful. And I'd get regular updates about how they're updating the software and tweaking and just how individual sensors are measured on the body. It is a personal fitness companion. I really should have read up on this before I just started babbling. Not that anyone really cares anyway, right? Sorry for being self-deprecating if anyone is actually watching this. So, I'm not sure exactly if this is what they are, but those headband-looking things that people wear around their necks... I think they're, I think they're Bluetooth speakers. Kind of like that, but then it has little earplugs that you plug into your ear, and it measures all sorts of things, including heart rate. And that's really important when you're exercising measure your heart rate so you can get the most out of your workout. Oh, that's so cool. It's got a little pull tab here that says, hey. It's not plugged in. Probably for the better. I should give you some light. More light on the screen means more reflective. Alright. This is so cool. So the back says, ready to hit a 30 minute run? That's by talking. Yes, I am ready, let's do this. 
but scorch those calories. Diet in a hurry. 145 beats per minute. How am I doing, Bai? 3.2 miles so far. Bai is an AI personal trainer whose voice interacts with you through state of the art headphones. Motivation, smarter training, amazing sound experience. Yeah. Let's see. It comes with access to a phone app. And little teeny tiny earbuds, different sizes for different ears. Which is important because I have tiny little ear holes. Let's do this. magnetic. Now this is really cool, but having done a little bit of marketing, often one way to cut costs is just to have plain old packaging, but wow, this packaging box design is gorgeous. So it says she's charged up and ready to go. I'm nervous. Is there something? Sorry. So I'm the smudge on the screen. It's not shot. This is a gorgeous box. This is just the box. Let's go together. Hi, I'm Vi. I live in the earphones designed to sense your body during exercise. I'll evolve with you and together we'll stay motivated to step up your fitness. Sweet. Hey there, I can't wait to meet you. Don't want to see my face anyway. So, this has all the little ear pieces in it. I'm probably going to need the last one. Little teeny tiny ones. Oh gosh, it's so hard to see. This camera is so bad. I'll be right back. Um, 
Yeah. Black on black. I wish I had a pause button. Hmm. Yeah, why not? So, a curved headband like thing is supposed to fit in here. Must, it must compress. Is this a bad color too? Dealing with new things. I'm always afraid I'm gonna break something. It's built to go on adventures with you, so it must be sturdy. It's a whole lot lighter than I expected. Hmm. This, the ends are magnetic. Yeah, wow, they're magnetic. Okay. Okay. Way to wear this? I'm guessing. This is right. Okay. Back up. How cool is this? These end things. I don't know how to describe them. How do you get this off? Yeah. Okay, so. things go inside your ear. A little loop up near the top. I guess. There are a lot of different sizes. Can't see that. There's one, two, three, and four. The little teeny tiny ones. I am really gonna enjoy this. I'll have to do another video and actually give a review on it. Because right now it's midnight and dark. And I live in the city. It's not that it's not safe. It's that it's kind of smelly. Smelly at night. And I don't want to go out there right now. Also, if any cops see you, they will definitely stop you. 
It's really probably not best not to go there anyway. Since go out anyway, since there was a an an accident, and by accident I mean accidental shooting murder. But anyway, that's not the point of this video. Right now, we're just going to do superficial things. Like, I know there was a reason why they made these magnetic, but I can't remember. They were very thorough in their development. It's very cool. Very cool. Hmm. Oh, wow. That was unexpected. What was that? I didn't bend anything. That is a good way to get those lost. Little clips. I'm just going to take these off. There are little metal clips that help keep the extra earphone cords out of your way. But if you're fiddling with the earphones, they're going to come off easily. They're going to come off the. They're going to come come off the main line, and they're going to come off this very smooth, nice smooth, textured um, neck apparatus thing. Don't know what to call it. I tend not to read instructions. So I'm just going to put them with the earphone inserts. Because I probably won't ever find I need to use them. But if I do, I will have them. Now. On to trying to replace these things. Are they the same size? No, they're not. Am I supposed to have two? Sizes. I said size and medium. Okay, I pulled off a small and a medium. So these both like they're same size. It's so difficult to tell. Blah blah blah. Wish there was a pause button on this video. And the sound medium. Thank 
What is that one? They're... They don't make sense. There's no way this is a medium. And it's labeled medium. It's definitely huge. No, I don't think I will. Yes. Large where it says large, medium where it says medium. If you're going to have different sizes of things, you should really label them. I found a match. Yeah, those are the same size. Yeah. Okay. Like this isn't even really important. I'm just. Turn this thing on for one. I have to do a whole bunch of things to plug it in. And two, washes everything out. And that's the last thing we need. Okay. How to distinguish the small from the medium. Are small. Yeah. Now we plug them back on. They're different colors. They are. Huh. So the plastic inside each of the different ear pieces is different has a different color depending on the size. That's nice. However, I haven't had find a distinguishing characteristic between the large ear stabilizers, I guess they are. These little curved things that hook into your ear. Small. Almost gay. Now let's see. 
taking these off. Wow. I thought there was a protective covering between the... the actual ear insert and the earbud. But nope. That was a little cover like you get on on your phone or other electronics on the screen whenever it's new. It's protecting some sort of some sort of sensor. It looks a lot like a camera. Maybe an infrared detector for heat. Or maybe it's a sensor like, uh, like you, like for uh, fingerprinting and the S health system that checks your stress and stuff. So for heart rate. Maybe I'll read the instructions, or maybe she'll just guide me through everything. Do I really want to take the time to disassemble this? Can you? That's a good question. I'm sure you can, but I don't want to right now. So I'm just going to shove them back in the container without doing it properly. Get out the cat hair. You're officially mine. There's cat hair in you. the tag with a handy dandy knife. Carefully. Put on the earbuds, ear insert squishy thingies, put this on with the power volume, there's a power volume and adjust button over here. Oh wow, it has a micro USB charger on the end. That is really cool. All you have to do is just pop it out and there's a definite suction sound so probably fairly waterproof. Does this one do anything? It's magnetic. This one is too. They're both magnetic. Both ends are. I hope those little clamps didn't do anything for the programming. Hmm. Straighten out. The kinks in the wire. Insert them till they lock in place. Mm -hmm. 
I think this, that black hook loop thing is meant to help situate the sensor in the right spot. Oh wow, it's already been half an hour, I'm so sorry. Luckily for you, this is YouTube and you can put it on fast forward. Speed. I pretty much watch all my videos at, at least one and a half, except for this one guy who talks really fast, so I can only listen to it at 1.25 speed. I tried watching it at one and a half, but I kept missing so much and having to go back that it was just kind of pointless. And now let's close the box up. Is there everything looks okay? Sort of pretty. Find the power button. Are you on? Well, that's kind of disappointing and anticlimactic. It's not, doesn't seem to be working. Doesn't seem to have been charged. It's not completely charged. I'm kind of worried about getting it wet. Because pretty much everything that's gone wrong with all my previous phones has been either water damage or concussion damage. Hello, are you there? Ah. That's really disappointing. I'm sorry. What's this? Try one more time. Apparently, we're going to have to do it the right way. Because that way was just awkward. The rubber that they used for this, the silicon, the silicon, I guess it is. is really soft and really smooth and velvety almost. It's nice. I like it.
I'm trying to turn down the volume and she says, can you hear me? First contact with a human. How exciting. <laughs> and then she she says that uh, I'm trying to turn down the volume and I can't. It's really, really loud. Volume down. V. Bye. Hi, V. Hi, bye. Hi, V. I really wish I could turn down the volume. Ugh. I don't know. It's after midnight. I need to go be going to bed. Ow. Well, first contact with a machine. AI was... Ow. That was, that was fun. I liked it. Until it hurt. And then I couldn't turn down the volume. Yeah. Ow. Oh. I see this as someone who keeps their phone just barely over muted. And when I put in earphones, I put it just barely over muted. And when I'm listening to stuff on my computer, I have it just, like, say YouTube. I have the master volume at just barely over muted. And then I have to go into the YouTube video and scale the bar back until it's just barely unmuted. Pretty sensitive to loud noises. Hopefully, you don't have that problem. Uh, that's still hurting. I guess that's it for now. She's telling me that I have to go to the app store. She keeps saying it like, every couple minutes. I can hear it all up from all the way down here. And she doesn't respond to any of my commands yet. I, I'm guessing that a lot of the actual AI is a paired communication <sighs> between the app on a phone and the actual hardware. Tomorrow I'll look into it. I'll make another another video. Hopefully, hopefully it's not raining tomorrow. It's supposed to thunderstorm. I don't mind the rain so much. I like the rain. But I just like that feeling of being sweaty and wet at the same time. If the weather's nice, I'll go take it for a spin. And my computer's telling me that it's almost out of power, so I guess that's it. Okay, bye. Peace out. Hmm.